Next, next example of this, and this is like one of the most famous, iconic sort of stories to come out of ethology, this was the work of von Frisch, showing bee dancing, bee communication. And what bees are about is they're scary and they go find out about food sources and they fly back to their colony and what they need to do is communicate to everybody else that they have found a food source and they have to communicate all sorts of types of information. Which direction? How far? How much? Is it totally exciting or is it I've just stumbled into a little bit? And what von Frisch was able to work out was bees came back and did this fixed action pattern movement which has been seen in every bee species on earth which is they do this figure eight, a waggle dance. They're shaking their rear back and forth and they're moving over the floor of the hive where everybody is watching and cheering them on and going around and doing this figure eight. And what is this about? What is this about? Tin, uh, von Frisch was able to dissect it and with brilliant experimental tricks showing the bee was giving three pieces of information. The axis of the figure eight told the bees with respect to sunlight which direction to go to find the source. The longer the bee danced, the further away the food source was. And the more frantically it was wiggling its rear around, the more exciting of a food source it was. This was information. This was what's the adaptive value. So von Frisch is sitting there saying, well, I think it might mean this because I'm finding this interesting pattern and I may speculate. What do you do? You do an experiment instead, which is now you take a beehive and you put it on like, like a, a bar stool thing and it's sitting out there in the field and you grab some bee and I don't know how he did it but he lived to a ripe old age but you grab a bee and you give it some amazing food source out here and you let it fly back to the hive where it goes berserk with the waggle dance stuff telling everybody there's something amazing over there. Meanwhile, Von Frisch in his hiking boots is slithering on his belly towards the beehive with the piano stool and comes up underneath it and rotates it, rotates it at 180 degrees. And what happens then? Everybody in the hive comes barreling out and goes in the wrong direction because they were given directions as to where to go with respect to the hive's entrance. That's how you show it actually contained information. And then he would have the food source closer or further and show the length of the dancing and all sorts of other cruel things he would do to the beehive to confuse them and wipe out the credibility of that one bee. But this is how you get the information. He would show this explicitly. Oh, why do they do this fascinating fixed action pattern? Because they're telling them something and here's how you prove it and you rotate it around. So you can begin to see the ethologists were really good, clever experimentalists and they were just trying to do it in the animal's own language.